Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn how to search and retrieve data based on the user's input using stateless forms in Zoho Creator. Before creating the search interface, let's quickly understand what a stateless form is and how it can be used. Unlike the traditional form, a stateless form does not store the record details on the backend. We can use this form type to create the search interface because the data entered will only be used for functional requirements and will not be stored in Creator. Let's consider the example of an order processing app to demonstrate this use case. Assume the store admin wants to retrieve information related to an order. It can be viewed directly in the report. However, the report will contain the order details of multiple customers. Therefore, we can create a search interface to display the relevant order details when entering the order ID. The screen you see now is the order form used to collect customer orders. This single line field generates a unique order ID on every order. Now, let's create a search interface based on this order ID field so the store admin can retrieve the details anytime a customer provides their order ID. This can be achieved in three simple steps. One, creating a stateless form based on the main form. Two, creating a page and embedding the stateless form and the main form's report. Three, passing a parameter to the URL to display the search results. To begin, let's create a stateless form based on the order form. To do that, open the editor and access the form builder. Click the three dots on the top right corner and choose duplicate. Give a name for the stateless form. A stateless form is created when you duplicate a form and disable this checkbox. Select the fields that should be added to the stateless form. In this case, we only need the order ID field as our search results are based on this field. Click duplicate. We are now in the form builder for the new stateless form we created. Let's give an appropriate name for the field and also give a relevant name to the form submit button. Go to the form properties, rename the button to search and click done. Next step will be to embed the stateless form and the main forms report into a page. To do that, click on the plus icon and choose page. Let's create a blank page and name it search order. Select the form element and choose the stateless form from the drop-down, which in our case is the order details form. Now, let's embed it as a form on the page and click done. Next, choose the report element and select the main forms report from the drop-down, which is the all orders report. Embed it as a report on the page. Under the properties tab, you can select actions that should be visible to the user on the report. Click done. Lastly, we must pass a search parameter to the URL to display the relevant search result. A search parameter is a variable that holds the value entered by the user. To do that, go to the page properties by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner. Here, we need to set a parameter name so it can be later added to the URL to display filtered results based on the search value entered. Click on add parameter, give a name and add it as a parameter. Now, select the All Orders report and select the Filter tab. Click on Add Filter and choose Order ID equals Input.param. Here, we are specifying a filter to pass the entered order ID to the parameter named Param. Click Done. Next, let's create a workflow to filter and display the record on the embedded report based on the search parameter. To do that, go to the Workflow section and select the order details form. Click on create new workflow. The action should be triggered on clicking the search button. So let's choose the form event as click of a button. Choose the search button, give a name and create the workflow. Click on add new action and choose dilute script. The logic is to pass the search parameter to the embedded report URL. To do that, let's use the open URL task. Just copy and paste the URL of a search interface page and add the following suffix to it. Question mark param equals plus input dot enter order id and choose same window. Param is the name of the parameter that we mentioned earlier and here we pass the order id we enter as the parameter. So, once we enter the value on the enter order id field, Creator searches for the record that matches the parameter value and displays the result. Save the code and click Done. Now, let's see how the search interface works. The All Orders report has sample data in it. Let's test the search interface by entering an order ID from this report. 
On clicking the search button, the page displays the relevant record information. In case you enter an invalid order ID, you won't be able to see any data. This is because the record is fetched based on the order ID field from the All Orders report. If that is invalid, there won't be any related record available to fetch. Hence, it displays no data available. In this way, you can restrict users to only accessing the required details. This is just one scenario where using the search interface can be beneficial. Similarly, you can create a variety of search interfaces to suit your unique business needs. That's all for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video.